the floor made up in robot. I'm recovering from the events of New Year's. God, that tape caused some horrible nightmares. I couldn't barely sleep and here I was, up at 5.13, rubbing the sides of my head while hearing the faint squealing and screaming of that Spongebob. I'm in my office to check the second tape. Thankfully, the second tape had nothing on it, just a blank black VHS tape. This time, there was a sticky note reading in mirror text on the front of the tape. That's new, and quite a change. The note says, I pointed a nearby mirror and I read the quote out loud. We live. We die. We suffer. For what? Who knows? There's a definitive line between what's human, what's not, what's satanic, and what's angelic. In layman's terms, the devil can disguise itself as an angel. I could recognize the writing. Archie? Was he a part of this? Did he join along with his son? If that's the case, that could be why I didn't receive an email. I braced myself as I inserted the tape and pressed play. It started with a section from Pink Floyd's The Wall. For the song The Trial, it was this portion of the lyrics. Crazy. Toys in the attic, I am crazy. Truly gone fishing. They must have taken my marbles away. Crazy, toys in the attic, he is crazy. <coughs> the tape paused and then slowly went back to the face, the blank black eyed face. Then the tape started glitching with the tape's frame slowly dipping down. Suddenly it cuts to another episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. This time, it was for the episode I had an accident. It was from Sandy and Patrick. The transcript was this. No, your other bottom! Don't you have to be stupid somewhere else? Not until four. Suddenly, the tape glitches to the scene where SpongeBob is doing his air breathing exercises. The audio was way too loud and it mixed with Sandy saying, Hey, SpongeBob! <laughs> before it stops on SpongeBob's breath, extending for too long, almost like it's stuck on the single frame. Finally, after a whole two minutes of SpongeBob's exasperated long breathing, it cuts to black. Then another, <coughs> it cuts to footage of a calm forest, but something was off. The audio was replaced with the time splitters to game over audio. It was first loud with beeps, worse, and loud pinging sounds before it slowly transitions to slowed garbled audio. I recognized the audio. When I listened closely, it was vocal audio from Captain Ash, one of the characters in the games. Just as I was calming down, I was assaulted by the loud static crackling noises with the frame cutting to the wormy close-up. Oh god. Thankfully, it didn't play the original audio, but with the loud static noise and the close-up itself, mixed with the childhood trauma surging in my veins. It was unsettling and I felt myself getting... getting... When I woke up, I was at the hospital bed. I noticed some doctors, nurses, and some buddies of mine at the agency. I was told by one of the doctors that accordingly, the childhood trauma mixed with the loud noises caused startle epilepsy mixed with a grand mal seizure, which was dangerous to hear. The doctor initially gave me a pill, it was a new drug that was recently approved by the FDA. It was called, Acupirone Aurinex, a medicinal drug that soothes the causes of seizures and keeps the body from shutting down. As I came back to the office, I checked the PC. I was able to capture two things. The beginning of the tape and a picture of the close-up. Damn, close but no cigar. Well, after taking one pill and a swig of some water from a water bottle, I was able to gather the pictures and now I should be ready. Well, I'll need to move on. If not, who knows what'll happen next.